welcome everyone again to another resurrection tale and we're still um, on the passage of Luke 24 and the Emmaus Road and we're getting near to the end of it now just two or three more to go on the Emmaus Road story and so they've got to the home in, in Emmaus itself Cleopas and his companion and Jesus they've recognized in the breaking of bread and it says he disappeared from their sight they recognized him and he disappears from their sight. Just as we think we've got him, he's gone. They'd spent hours with Jesus on the road, got an immense blessing from him. And at that very moment of recognition, he disappears. Why? Why would he do such a thing? And I have to say, I found this true to my experience as well. There are times when you feel you're meeting with God, you have a great blessing. Something speaks to you in the scriptures or in your life and you know it's God. And then somehow it's gone. Why? Why don't we have that constant presence of Jesus with us? How we can feel him? Well, we chase him. One of our problems is, I think, we can chase the experience and we can chase Jesus as though in the words of C.S. Lewis he is just a tame lion for us to have in our possession. The same was true of Peter and the other two disciples at the Transfiguration. They wanted to build a tent for him to keep him in place so he was there for them. No, he tells us to do as he said. He tells us to be real disciples. We will meet him again on the road. He will be there. He promises to be with us. But we don't always experience that same intensity of him right there speaking to us so that we have a joyful time. He tells us to obey him. He tells us to follow him and he will be there even if we don't always recognize him, even if we don't always feel him. His promise is there. There are times of sadness. It's not always times of great joy. So the first thing in this little section when he disappears from their sight is don't just hold on to him the whole time. As we obey him, he will be there we need to learn to have faith in his presence. But the second thing is, and you may be wondering, how can the risen Jesus just disappear from their sight? I've been saying again and again, he is a physical body, a physical being. He's not a ghost, as he says. But we have to say at the same time that the resurrection body in some way is different from our body now. There is something different about it. It's hardly surprising. It's a resurrection body. He has conquered death. And it gives us a little hint that our futures too will be beyond our imagining. Physical, recognisable, but also special. And when we think of those whom we've lost just recently, Trish, Stephen Coley, and others. I was wandering around Standon Churchyard, the burial ground there, ready for a funeral, and thinking, all those buried in Jesus will rise again, we will meet again, and it will be extremely special. We'll be different on that resurrection day. That is yet to come. In the meantime, Jesus is telling us, he promises us, he will be with us. But don't just cling on to him for the same experience each time. Let's pray. Father God, help us to trust Jesus when he says he is with us. And to be obedient to him and follow him. And meet him again and again on the road. Amen.